Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. So in this video we are going to set up our environment development in order to develop a custom Gutenberg block. So let's get started and see what should we do about our environment development. So as you can see guys I already uh, write down a couple of environment tools that we can use for example local by flywheel for example zamp you can use map you can use docker or you can use wordpress environment that wordpress provides and i am pretty comfortable with local wp the first uh, option but feel free uh, if you want to use any of this no matter what you can use every environment that you want to use so after choosing one of these for example i want to install local wp it's pretty uh, straightforward you just need to download the software for your operating system for example if you are using map you should just download the mac version and just download it it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy after you install it you can open up and you can set up a really easy website so let's set up a website i already set up a website and you can see if i click in open site you can see i am uh, redirected to my local setup but let's create a website so as you can see from here i can create a new website and here i it will ask me you want to create a blueprint or create a new website i will choose create new site and continue here you can name your website whatever you want for example i will type navit dev and here advanced option you can use dot local you can uh, choose your local site path but uh, i'm gonna leave this as a default and as it is so continue uh, and i i'm comfortable with the default settings so i do not want to customize this for now but you can customize the configuration of the website so after that i will continue you can use a user a wordpress username and a wordpress password anything you want uh, also a wordpress email so i will create my username password and i will create an easy password because this is just a local setup also if you want to uh, set up a wordpress multi-site you can use here yes or no but for our purpose we don't need a multi-site wordpress so i'm gonna add site and as you can see this is really easy and you should just add your password here all right as you can see our website is ready to go so if i click here open site you can see for example uh, never mind you can continue to the website and as you can see we already have our website ready to go so and in here we can go wp admin or uh, wordpress dashboard and also if you click here you can go to the folder management of all the website that you want to manage so in the next uh, episode we are going to see how to navigate to this from the terminal and uh, create our uh, plugin in order to create our custom gutenberg block so never mind let's move on and now after uh, set up our environment so after that guys we in order to develop a gutenberg block we should install node.js so the second step should be in installing the node.js software in our operating system 
and you cannot use the latest version if you already have node.js that's great uh, you should use a, a node version management or nvm in order to use node version 14 because for now we just uh, need to use node version 14 in order to be able to develop Gutenberg block all right so after installing node.js we should also have a VS code install because why I'm saying VS code because it's the most popular uh, code editing uh, software and we can use it in in any operating system and it's free okay so install these and you should be good good to go for the next episode so I will see you then